All right, this is Windows XP booting to desktop through the Apple TV loader. And I will warn you, this is kind of cheating because of the way that I'm doing this. And I'll tell you about it in a sec once this loads. There's a black screen, which is exactly what I expect. And it's a problem that only exists in VirtualBox um, for various reasons. Y'all can't hear it, but there was the um, startup chime. And as you can see, we are now at the desktop. You can see that we are running the VirtualBox Guest Editions, which is the cheat that I was talking about. But if you go into Properties here, to say it's an Apple TV, but I'm not using any sort of UEFI graphics driver to do this. Um, and on hardware, I'm stuck on, it can't find the hard drive, but I can probably, once I try to figure out that issue, I could probably strip, uh, like slipstream in the NVIDIA drivers or something, and then, um, get to this point, but not having functional fallback drivers for the frame buffer definitely isn't ideal, and that's something that needs to be done but anyways that is the first demo of a successful boot of Windows XP on the original Apple TV in VirtualBox